Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and I welcome you to another episode of uh, Learn Your iPad in 5 minutes. So today we'll talk about Gmail. So the idea is like this with uh, Gmail. If you take a look on the um, on my YouTube channel, you will find some videos about Gmail. Uh, the idea is like this. We need to see the configuration. So first uh, we will work with Gmail using the IMAP. So I will use, I will configure my Gmail for IMAP. So in my Gmail settings, I will go to settings and then go see all settings and here on the... Um, pop up uh, IMAP, I have to enable a IMAP. And on some systems, you have to go here on the um, uh, manage account and you have to search for less. In my system is, is not um, available because I have two authentication. I have a special account, but I will show you the picture. So basically you will get for less secure apps and you have to um, put on, on this less secure app. After you do this configuration, you will go here on the UAPAT uh, in your iPad activities, then you will say get the uh, emails by IMA, uh, IMAP, get IMAP uh, mails. Yeah, on the get IMAP emails, you will select you will select inbox as a folder, the port 993. You will select here on the server imapgmail.com and you put the user and password. You can put also the secure password. Here you have to select the action <clears throat> that you will do with, um, uh, <coughs> with your emails. So you see, you can select the, the number of um, emails that uh, you will read by default is 13. You can uh, say that uh, read only and read emails. You can say that um, it's marked as read or not, and so on. So after you get this list, you will you will get a list of emails. So here you will uh, on the message you will receive a list. This list is it's a mail list. So here you will drag and drop a for each, and on this for each, you have to put on the argument this one. So visual uh, system uh, system dot net mail mail message. Yeah. So this is the type of the argument. After you will get this uh, type of argument, then you will have a list with um, emails and the list with emails will will be able to access the uh, the address, the subject here on the body. Be careful in case of Gmail, there is a problem here. This will return empty to be able to get the real um, body of um, a Gmail. You have to use this one mail header plain text. Yeah. If you want to send an email, you will send it via SMTP. So you will go on SMTP, you write SMTP and you say mail from address, um, subject, body, you attach files here on the configuration. You need to put SMTP gmail.com. Yeah, so I have is smtpgmail.com. The port is 465. Yeah, and then I put my user and password and so on. Now, uh, if I want to sort an email, yeah, so if I want to make a filter of the email, basically I will make a, I can put multiple ifs, so I can put multiple ifs on subjects, on, on so on, but I can sort directly this list. To be able to sort directly the, this list, I have to talk, take a look on link. Yeah, so... Link is a feature in um, visualbasic.net that allow you to, to make a lot of functions. So here in my case, I create a function. So take a look on this one. So my function is where, uh, so on the list, I put a condition where the message is, uh, um, where the, the subject to lower contain your iPad. Yeah, so basically I con uh, I see if I con uh, the, my subjects contain your iPad and to be sure that it's okay, I will, I will put it to lower, yeah? So I will put this one. So I will put basically this sort of the list directly here on the form, let's put it here. And in this way, I'm able to sort directly the list from here. So the system will, the, the Gmail, the IMAP will get all the, uh, the emails from the, um, from the system. And here, when I want to prelucrate the emails, I will prelucrate only the emails that um, uh, I need, that I want, that the one that uh, contain your iPad, for example, in the subject. Yeah? And you can build other um, other type of um, configuration there. Also here um, in this movie that it's on my uh, uh, on my YouTube channel with uh, trigger email, you will be able to see how you can um, uh, you can use the triggers from orchestrator. So how to you have a full code that you put inside of the um, uh, G, uh, Google Apps to be able to trigger the orchestrator and. Um, uh, uh, how you can do this stuff. So you have all the configuration, all the all the stuff with with the code that you have to put there and so on. Yeah. So take a look on this um, complete uh, movie for um, uh, for more details. But that's the idea how to approach Gmail in a very fast way. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel and comment on my movies and tell me what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye bye.